Corey Scott. We're offshore today in beautiful Abaco. Lucky to be here, having a good time, catching a couple fish. Let's see what we get today. Putting us in reverse. There we go. We're out here. <laughs> Nick's on the jig. Connie and Perry and myself have bait rods set up, and we're just gonna take turns jigging and bait fishing, maybe all swishing and jigging. We're getting started here. Ready. We're gonna get some, th some stuff. We're gonna get some stuff today. the goodies we'll give you a better look at this stuff a little bit later and show you how we got it set up for travel and everything like that and to be able to access it on for a doggy make it happen first drop on the jig going way down there the jigs are out fishing the live bait we got three live bait rods or bait rods, I should say, not live. It's like dead weight. Now. You got a sea urchin, probably. Oh, I got color. Definitely a group. Maybe Jack. On, you got a little grouper. <laughs> what the hell? What the fuck? You got him in the reef. Nice little grouper. I got the gap. Hold him like a not kooky. Got him? Yes. Scott, just watch that gap behind you. I'll put the point on the cup. Nick with the first fish of the day, a nice grouper. Yeah. Look at that. I got it. Perry got himself a nice little fireback yellowfin grouper. Here, hold that, Perry. Back up a little bit more in the sun. There you go. Oh, it's me blocking you. Oh, I missed the pipe. Nice fireback grouper. That's pretty. So he had this yellow eye. Is that a yellow eye? Yeah. Right? What is it called? Oh, gotcha. So he had that, and this guy thumped it. We're going to get back down there and do it again. That's what I'm fishing. I got one of my slow pitch baits on my Maxell Ocean Max set up. We're going to send this down once Scott says go. Going down on the jig. We're in like 230 foot or so. Should be about there. got something good. Go Nikki. Oh, we should be getting color soon. Keep going. Don't get tired. Silver? Nikki's got something big on. It looks like an AJ. No, it's not a shark, it's a fish. Is it really an AJ? Looks like it. Holy I was totally kidding. Let me get this jig out of here. Is it really an AJ? Yeah, it's like a what? 50 pound AJ. Nah, 30 pound AJ. Good job, Nick. Nick, what did you have on there? For oh, did you put that whole thing on yeah, there? Yeah, he put the little yellow eye on. Manhandle on it. You pliers? Pliers, yeah. No, just show me what you're tying and I can do it. Nikki's got his beautiful AJ. Back to the bottom! <laughs> Connie, we got thumped at the same time. We did? Do we have the same fish? And I got a strawberry. We moved into 180. I'm going to say four strawberries. Cool, guys. 
What do we got? I got Nick's bait. Yellowtail on the slow pitch. There he is, there he is. Scotty's hooked up, I'm hooked up on the jig. Come on, buddy. Come on up. I got a good one on. Got a good something on the slow pitch. Stay hooked up. Come on, be something cool. We're hoping. Bringing this one up from almost 300. I'm at 100. Is Scott hooked up too? I lost this. So you're ready to help me out, Nikki, in case I need you to grab a fish for me. At around 100. He's swimming a lot. Like, it's not just dead weight. He's, like, moving around. I got color. I got a grouper. Nikki, help me. Go in the back. Where's the one got a black. Nice one, go. Slow pitch black. I got the line. I got the line. You, you just get the guy. Nikki got him. Woo. He almost got in the rocks too. Good job, bro. I am so pumped. That's the one we wanted. Nice black on the slow pitch base jig on the Max L Oceanic. Let's do a couple. Let's do like a low one. All in the sun, yeah. That's it. look at that jig right there. We got him. All those hooks bound to have a couple of them staying, right? Come on, there's the jig. Fire back in there. I'm gonna pick up that one big bag. Got it. Here we go. Butterfly and one up, and then that's the jig. Another look at that jig. We're about to drop it back down. Get the action hat on. back out there. The fall. Nick, you can drop that other slow pitch. That's good. <laughs> That's what's fun about the slow pitches though, is just like being able to toss it down really quick. Yeah, really fast get down there. Yeah, I like it. Big pumpy. 
kind of just point the rod tip down and turn the handle. So I'm not putting a lot of bend in the rod. I'm keeping the rod straight and using the strength of this reel. I got a big old strawberry grouper. Yeah, he's got weight on there. Perry's is bigger than mine. He's got a nice mutton. Really? Big old mutton. Oh, there you go. Big old mutton fish, boy. That was on that zero slice, right? Caught a zero earlier. I'm gonna lay him down right here. I think my jig's still down. That's a zero mackerel I caught on the jig. Perry used a slice of that. And then I got... Oh no. Nice old strawberry grouper. Pretty chunky strawberry, we'll keep that one. These we were using for bait. But that is a beast of a mutton. Pretty strawberry grouper. We are wrapping up fishing for the day. But we got little Nicky Burrow over here from Palm Bay Boat Motor Superstore. He'll get some deals for you. We're getting the dive gear out. We're coming up onto the reef now. We're gonna do some uh, diving, see if we can find us a nice little hogfish or something else. But camera down, get geared up, get the mask cam on, and hop in the drink. Nikki's looking ready. All right, we're geared up. Got the pole spears. Scotty says go. Hopping in the water to cool off after a nice day of fishing is an awesome feeling and the water was beautiful. And by no means is this a hardcore dive day. Now I did see a nice black go into these rocks right here and this is kind of like a Swiss cheese cavey bottom. And I thought I knew where he was. I followed him a little bit. You could see his tail just for a split second there. And I kind of lost track of him. He went into that little hole right there. Uh, made a couple drops looking for him, but really wasn't doing a hardcore dive. They didn't want to invest a lot of time looking for a fish. I probably wasn't going to find anyway, so went back up to the surface and then came across something more my speed for the day. A nice hogfish that is a whole lot easier to hunt. It's not a big hogfish, but it's a good one, and we were looking to get some hogfish for the day because we didn't have any. We shot some a uh, little while ago, but we were all out of hogfish, and I got a decent shot on him with the Nomad uh, Pole Spear by Headhunter and made my way back up to the surface with it. Look at that hogfish, you see him in the sun? There he is. Absolutely delicious fish. Beautiful hogfish going in the box. Now Scott spotted this guy. These two holes right here had a black grouper and a Nassau grouper. You can see the Nassau grouper barely sticking his head out right there. And they're not known for being the smartest fish. They kind of hold their ground like a red grouper and just kind of sit around and wait for you to shoot them. Uh, Nick was going to go down and get this one. He made a drop down and had an absolutely perfect stem hey, shot on it and started to swim back up. It's Jason Bourne! A good shot. Now I'm making another drop down and the water we're in here is about 30 foot deep so pretty shallow and I'm going for one of those super elusive hogfish that we just went for in the previous clip with me shooting one and I see it down on the bottom and super camoed out. Pay attention to the colors of this fish. It's all lit up. It's all camoed out on the bottom. It was eating and then I'm in no rush to shoot this thing. I mean it's, they usually aren't going anywhere. And just like that, the stripes disappeared. He comes up to check me out, and I plugged him. After that, I swim him up to the surface, 
And two hogfish, a grouper for a pretty quick dive, not a bad way to end the day. Can you see the number? Got it. Connie is getting ready to cut in. And we don't waste fish. We give fish away to people we know here. Connie's starting on that Nassau Nick just plugged at the end. And then we're gonna do this super, super pretty fireback yellowfin. Look at the size of that mangrove down there, Connie. All right, we're gonna get this thing sliced and this is gonna be our dinner tonight. Come over here, nurse shark. There he is. He's coming. There he goes. This winter shark, he's right here. Connie's got something going down. What's going down? Just sitting here leaning on nails. So we just got done filleting what we're having for dinner tonight. Filleted up the dinner. Now we're gonna gut the rest of these, throw them back on ice and take care of them a little bit later. But now we're gonna probably hear Connie scream. Yes! Stop you. I told Here. ya. Oh my god. No, no, no! Grab no. it, grab it, grab it. No, don't grab it. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't do the catch, cook, and clean, did we? Catch, cook, and clean? Yeah. We did it just now on video. What did we, what'd you make? Fish, lobster, I already ate. A salad. How'd you make the fish? I did blackened panko and garlic. Dude, that is incredibly white. It looks like scamp. Super flaky. I've never had yellowfin before, but we got a lot of it. Pretty pumped. I could and we have to have more lobster. It's dinner time. Nick Furrow from Palm Bay Boat Motor Superstore where you can get sportsman boats, Key West, some weird pontoon boats probably. What else you got? You're an idiot. You need a repower? Come see Nick. Right? That's right. And shrimp. You got shrimp? Shrimp, shiners. <laughs> shrimp and shiners. Come get your shrimp and shiners from Nick. We got our fish from today. That was my first time ever really committing any sort of time to slow pitch jigging. And we got some fish, we lost some big fish, but this is that yellowfin grouper. And I'm gonna show you a couple of pictures because yellowfin grouper can look very different depending on the particular fish. The red ones we got today, I think people call them firebacks. At least I, some of my friends have called them that. And we also have lobster mac and cheese, lobster, and Asian chow noodles. And now it's time to feast.